There's a lot of history behind what we call the ISO machine here. A man named Mike Maddox designed this machine about 30 years ago. His is what I call accelerating isokinetics. And the machine he had was a combination of sprockets like a bike and then an expanding fan blade, so it created air resistance. It was ingenious in its design because what that replicated is what's called rate of force production. As you increased your force production, the speed of the machine increased. So the fan blade would spin faster. Now it was still resisting, but the trick in this business is how do you improve rate of force production? Well, he came up with that. So the actual resistance of the machine is determined by the force you apply to the machine, which is actually how all physical acts are determined in sport. It's almost never about the load imposed on you. So one of the biggest advantages of it is that it neurologically is training your brain to produce force maximally throughout the range of motion. That's its other major benefit. Weightlifting on its basic premise is your maximal point of force is at its point of movement. And then inertia helps you continue to move it. When you are dealing with a spine that has vertebrae with discs between them and you compress them, you're going to hurt people. So if you excessively load that too much, it's just a function of time before you get people hurt with it. Whereas this, the strength range is maximized all the way through it. So you get a much faster strength gain. Because there is no heavy load to you, you don't get delayed onset muscle syndrome for it because on the eccentric part of it, you're not tearing apart the muscle fiber and then it has to repair itself for the next three or four days. Everybody thinks this is some imperative thing to sports performance and it's ridiculous. The accelerating isokinetic machine is extraordinarily stimulating to the central nervous system, which is the burn you always feel when you're doing it, which everyone remarks on when they're on it. Because there is no eccentric load, we can very quickly load it, let the muscle stretch out, and then refire. And as it's refiring, it is stimulated everywhere it's pushing. It doesn't matter where it is, it will continually maximally resist you. So the benefits, as the Russian proved when this machine first came out with their own version of it, was that isokinetic strengthening was the fastest strength gain. It eliminated the incidence of injury. It eliminated delayed onset muscle syndrome. And it was the most significant stimulation to the nervous system of any strength regime that they'd used. When you see that type of a research from it, and then you know that the man that made this and where they took it, that machine was put into University of Houston where the Phi Slam and Jamma team of Olajuwon, Drexler and the rest of those guys and they're all jumping out of the gym. They were put into the Olympic Training Center for the volleyball team. And eventually not having the resources to continue marketing properly, it lost its way. And the benefits of that machine have just been lost to people out there that don't know about it. And that's what we're attempting to change. Because you can train a six year old on it, an 80 year old on it, or an NFL starting lineman on it. It doesn't matter because the resistance levels will constantly accommodate to the person using it and you cannot hurt them. And it crosses over into the rehabilitation market because you're able to use that to start functionally strength training the leg or any other body part very quickly after surgery. Whereas with the weight you can't do that because the load will literally tear away at anything that's been surgically repaired or sewed or anything. If you take ankle sprains, the minute that the pain can be tolerated, we put them on their backs so their legs are up extended and we start moving the ankle through its range of motion. It immediately stimulates the nerve to get all those tissues working again. Now as far as major knee injuries such as ACL, MCL, any type of ligament damage or meniscus damage, again, you can start strengthening all the muscles surrounding the knee as quick as four to six weeks post-op because, again, there's no weight load to it. So the stimulation is to the nerve to get the muscle and their motor units together and get them firing again. So the isokinetic device, because it activates the muscle tissue in there, starts getting that fluid out, getting the swelling down. But it also gets the functional movement pattern back immediately. So you're really able to accelerate the rehabilitative times. For physical therapy, there's a huge advantage to being able to have this because when you're able to start strengthening things without fear of increasing any type of injury again, you're way ahead of the curve. The first thing to prevent injury you have to do is you have to properly train all the muscles of the core. That's the spine, the obliques, the low abdominal cavity, and the hips. And if you do that, now you can start functionally training the legs. You know that the force that the leg can produce has something stable to push against. Injury prevention always comes down to one of those joints. Predominantly in this country, it's your knee. 
And if you get hurt in your knees, you're not gonna be able to run very well. So the way to prevent that is through muscular balance throughout your body by properly functionally trained the right sequence of muscles to fire correctly at the right time and the correct biomechanics of your movement pattern. And if you do that, then you've got a very good chance of avoiding catastrophic injury. The amount of high school kids with broken backs, knees that are compromised because of deep heavy squats when they've got a body that's expanding. If you can achieve the strength gains at a faster rate without any potential risk of injury, how would you not switch to this? A heavy squat being predominantly a back exercise that hypertrains the quads, it is not a functional exercise no matter how anyone wants to defend it. When you have to load your heel, you're setting off a completely different muscle sequence than you are when you load the ball to foot properly. And we can load the ball to foot with no risk to the patella tendon, which you can't do with heavy squats, and no risk to any of the bones in the foot, which you can't do either with heavy squats. Plyometric movements are an elastic property. Power is energy, and you have to be able to store the energy and then use it in an instant. Weightlifting, the conventional style of it, the amount of time to apply the force is too long to have any functional application in sport. Without the accelerating isokinetic machine, I would have to completely go back to the drawing board in terms of trying to understand how to train children properly, how to rehabilitate properly, how to train people for the NFL Combine in eight weeks because of the advantages that that gives me. The amount of time it would take to do it through movement or anything else, you just you can't compete with it.